Good evening and welcome to Charlton County High School's graduation 2018. I'm Adam Bell for Charlton Sportsnet. Charlton County High School's Superintendent Dr. John Lercy, Principal Dr. Josh Howard, Assistant Principal Josh Poppin, Athletic Director Jesse Cruz. This is presented by Charlton Sportsnet and it will be commercial free thanks to our sponsors. Just remember to shop local, support the folks who support your kids. Couldn't do it all without the local businesses here. Right now I'm going to turn my mic down and turn everything up, else up so you can enjoy the sounds, sights and sounds of graduation 2018. Thank you for watching. I want to take this moment to congratulate all the seniors, parents, and families of the class of 2018. It's been quite a ride. What a year we've had. Lots of, lots of highlights. It's been a lot of fun. On personal note, my son's AJ is graduating tonight. We're up here in the press box. We're still going to webcast and do like we always do. 
So y'all y'all enjoy the graduation ceremony and congrats again to everyone involved. It's quite an accomplishment.
the Pledge of Allegiance and our national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic of the United States. Season 5, Episode 23 of The Office, 
Michael Scott quotes Wayne Gretzky, who once said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Now that has absolutely nothing to do with this speech. I just actually like that pair a lot. And the offense. But uh, when I signed up to run for class president, I really didn't think I'd win. To be honest, I didn't campaign at all. I didn't hang out with cupcakes or make signs or anything like that. But I guess you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So that's why I'm standing here now. In all seriousness, though, these past four years have been a blast. I didn't plan on saying the cliche things like these have been the best four years of my life or they've gone by so fast, but I'd be lying if I said those things weren't true. I couldn't imagine going to school anywhere else. I know the lessons I've learned from my teachers and my baseball coach, I haven't gotten anywhere else. And for that, thank you. I've learned integrity, leadership, and to not be afraid to be yourself. And to my classmates, thank you. Thank you for the laughs, the excitement, the Friday nights in the football fields, and the sport you've shown me and my teammates in the baseball program these past four seasons. Although we're going in our own directions, never forget where you came from. In 10 years, don't forget how you got in the position you're in, and don't forget the people that helped you get there. Good luck, Godspeed, and go dogs. Thank you. My name is Alexis Bennett, and I would like to take this opportunity to introduce our special guest for this evening. Our Board of Education is the official policy-making body for the entire school system and is responsible for maintaining the educational quality for our schools. All board members, please stand at this time to be recognized. We are also honored to have our superintendent of schools as well as our system principals here with us tonight. Please stand to be recognized at this time. In addition, many faculty and staff members of the Charlton County School System have aided and guided us on our journey. Some of these faculty members are with us tonight. We thank you all for all you have done for us as well. At this time, I would like for all the Chong County School System faculty and staff members to stand and be recognized. We are fortunate to have such an exceptional organization to oversee our educational program. We would like to take this opportunity to, to thank these people for all of their hard work and dedication. Thank you. Good evening, Dr. Larcy, Dr. Howard, Board of Education members, parents, and other distinguished guests. Tonight, I want to talk about dreams. Dreams that you've ignored, been forced to ignore, or dreams that you simply believe to be unattainable. Once upon a time, there was a large mountainside where an eagle's nest rested. The eagle's nest contained four large eagle eggs. One day, an earthquake rocked the mountain, causing one of the eggs to roll down the mountain to a chicken farm located in the valley below. The chickens knew that they must protect and care for the eagle's egg, so an old hen volunteered to nurture and raise the large egg. One day, an egg, the egg hatched, and a beautiful eagle was born. Sadly, however, the eagle was raised to be a chicken. Soon, the eagle believed he was nothing more than a chicken. The eagle loved his home and family, but his spirit cried out for more. While playing a game on the farm one day, the eagle looked to the skies above and noticed a group of mighty eagles soaring in the skies. Oh, cried the eagle, I wish I could fly like those birds. The chickens roared with laughter. You cannot soar with those birds. You are a chicken and chickens do not soar. The eagle continued staring at his real family up above, dreaming that he could be with them. 
Each time the eagle would let his dreams be known, he was told it could not be done. That is what the eagle learned to believe. The eagle, after time, stopped dreaming and continued to live his life like a chicken. Finally, after a long life as a chicken, the eagle passed away. The moral of the story, you become what you believe you are. So if you ever dream of becoming an eagle, all your dreams and not the words of an eagle. You know, it's, it's easy for you to stand up here and say that you just believe you can achieve. I mean, who am I to tell you that you can achieve anything if you set your mind to it? I don't need to be an old man to know that with pure and truthful word, our goals seem to be attainable. That when you think there's no way that a certain goal could be reached against all odds, we persevere. What this power is, I can't say. All I know is that it exists and becomes available only when a man is in that state of mind in which he knows exactly what he wants and will quit at nothing until he finds it. Don't wait for things to get better, because life will always be complicated. And you got to learn to be happy right now, otherwise you are run out of time. God bless. Good evening, fellow graduates, faculty of Charlton County High and guests. I'm Jason Howard, and I'm honored and blessed to represent the class of 2018 at the Valedictorian. For those of you that may be unaware, my dad has actually worked at the school for some time now. Sometime in elementary school, I remember seeing a sign for the class of 2018. At that young age, the year 2018 seemed so far away that it could have very well been the year 3018. As we grew up, math got harder and the years flew by. 2018 got closer and closer. As you can probably tell, we're not in elementary school anymore. We're all finally wearing these robes and square top hats that once seemed so far away. Class 2018, May. Although may, I may be a little biased, I honestly believe that the class sitting behind me has been one of the most successful groups of people to ever walk the halls of CCHS. We have excellent musicians, future college athletes, members of the military, and some of the hardest workers I've ever met. While I know the various talents and skills we have is partially the product of our own hard work, I know that we will all acknowledge where we got our own personal gifts. It is my belief that the Lord gave each of us a gift to use to the best of our ability, to fulfill the purpose of our lives and to further His kingdom. Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you. This is the Lord's declaration. Plans for your welfare, not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. This verse in the Word of God tells me that all of us here were assigned a plan by God, and if we follow it, our lives, despite our past, present, and future struggles, will be for the most part happy and fulfilling. I also believe that all of my classmates are more than capable of carrying out God's plans for us. Before I leave the podium tonight, I need to thank a few people, as is the custom with graduation speeches. First, I'd like to thank the Lord Himself for giving me the ability to earn my spot in this ceremony. Next, I thank my parents for the countless hours of work and innumerable sacrifices they have made to ensure that I be successful. I'd like to thank the rest of my family for all their support, my friends for all the memories and laughs, and the faculty and staff of Folkston and St. George Elementary Schools, the Thune Middle School, and Charlton County High School. I am eternally grateful to all of the aforementioned people, as well as the entire Charlton County community, for giving us all the best place to come of age. To my classmates, Good luck in life, and don't hesitate to contact me if I can ever help. Thank you. Good evening. Inserted in the commencement program is a list of those students who have been awarded scholarships this year. On behalf of the administration and staff, we would like to thank all the organizations, businesses, churches, and individuals who help support the awarding of these scholarships. At this time, we ask that all scholarship recipients please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Mackenzie Johnson and I would like to share a poem with you titled, We Made It. 
A curtain is up, the stage is set. Each player is eager to start. As we go through this place in line, each one must set apart. These parts will be what you make them. Some players will want to quit. One thing to remember, class, is we made it. Through the ups and the downs, from laughing to crying. To the people in life to hold us up when you're trying. To the people who doubt us, they know we have won. We have finished with a bow, and now this time we are done. We are off to our future, without hesitation or doubt. Our time to shine, class of 2018, and we are ready to show. Congratulations, fellow classmates. Good evening. My name is Robert Frankes. We are assembled here this evening to, to congratulate these young men and women for their many years of dedication and hard work. As we prepare to venture out into this world, it is interesting to think that at one time we were all infants crying for our mothers, but in the blink of an eye became the future of our community. Now everyone begins life as a child, full of innocence and curiosity. But like the thousands of generations before us, we learned about the world and became wary of it. We were scared of things we couldn't understand and stayed close to our parents. But as we grew older, we learned and became defiant. The people of the world make it their own, not the other way around. Our parents once told us not to fear the monster we saw in the dark. So we, all, so we will not fear the future, no matter how dark it becomes. Speaking of which, I know that we are here to celebrate our own accomplishments, but the parents here deserve the, the awards. They have supported us, guided us, and most importantly, taught us what it means to feel wanted and loved. They can make mistakes, but they're human too. And the bond with us is as tight as the very blood that runs through our veins. An elder once told me, choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. This is a half-truth. All jobs require hard, persistent effort, and there will be inevitably come a day when you will want to walk out the door, but you can't. So you press forward. The key to this is no matter how soul-crushing everything can become, even if the last lingering flame within you has been extinguished, there will always come better days ahead. This is the concept of hope. The emotion that guides incredible people through terrible circumstances and can lead them to greatness. You might still fail, even if you try your hardest, but what kind of life would you leave if you had never tried at all? I have been fortunate. My parents have supported and guided me, and my musical abilities have taken me to places and events that few people have yet to participate in. My journey has had its bumps, but that goes without saying. There were difficulties for all of us, some of which now appears are distant memories, and others are less pleasant distant memories. Either way, that's all we're left with in the end, memories. Enrich your life and allow your future self to look back on the good times, which are now ahead of you. In simple words, go now, do good, help others, live life. Congratulations, class of 2018. Charlton County High School class of 2018 would like to remind you that this is a formal ceremony and ask you to hold your applause during the awarding of diplomas so that all guests and family members have the opportunity to hear their graduate's name as it is called. Thank you. Dr. Larson, as principal of Charlton County High School, I certify that these students have met all standards for graduation as required by the Charlton County Board of Education and the state of Georgia. At this time, it is with enthusiasm and confidence that I release to you the diplomas for the Charlton County High School Class of 2018.
Payson Joshua Howard. That's the first name in 17 years that I've not announced. Mitch Leon Baxter. Alexis Nicole Bennett. Tessa Renee Bennett. Amy Elise Bird. Kristen Joyce Lynn Cruz. Jesse Adam Farmer. Robert Thomas Franquez Jr. Kyle Eugene Giddens. Mackenzie Lee Johnson. Taylor Morgan Potter. Gary Dolphin Burnsett. Joanna Lee Carico. Cooper. Cole Ethan Giddens. Aaron Patrick Waltney. Macy Mackenzie Johnson. Kenley Jean Lepley. Deborah Louise Pollock. Newton Tanner Roberts. Devin Wayne Snowden. Destiny Brooke Thompson. Amani Ragwa Akbar. Ayana Akbar. Chad Dequan Alderman. Ryan Warren Andrews. Dwayne Marcus Atwater. Sarah Bailey Beard. Tyler Leon Beckham. Adam John Bell the second.
Stephen Allen Bennett. Chase Scott Billington. Portavius Krishan Bolden. Daniel Lee Bowyer. Aaron Bailey Brazil. Aaliyah Chante Bryant. Philip Cade Bryant. Carson Brooke Butler. Devin A.G. Chastain. Adrian Michael Conti. Casey Lenore Conti. Brandon Tyler Crawford. Tori Ivy Cruz. Tyler Keith Crib. Samuel Joseph Daly. Eric Lamar Daniels. Elzaria Diamonique Davis. Benjamin David Dale. Nolan Franklin Everett. Nathan Seth Finley. Shakiria Paige Gibson. Israel Adrian Guillard. Jackson Barco Dowen. Shante Nicole Hall. Montreal DeMonte Henderson. Shelly Marie Hexamer. <laughs> Kellen Renee Hicks. <laughs> Taylor Michelle Hicks. <laughs> J. 
Joseph Ethan Highsmith. Dylan Tyler Ivan Horn. Zachary Allen Howard. Demontre Marquez Jernigan. Brad Harold Johnson. Quintavious Javon Kinney. Sydney Miranda Knowles. Quentin Gregory Lambert. Tyresha Patrice Lampkin. Franklin Lee Lane. Dustin Lyle Lee. Terrence Lamar Maxwell. Angela Brooke McCormick. Patrick Maurice Milton. Elizabeth Tanisha Mincy. Faith Angel Morgan. Kimberly Ann Morgan. Courtney Alyssa Murray. Calvin Douglas Newbine. Halen Keith Peoples. Michael John Reese Sherman Pierce. Zebulon Hal Poncel. Tyler William Prescott. Yosel Garcia Quiros. Samuel Jamel Reed. Terry Hastings Reed. Caitlin Marie Richards. Joe Marie Rivera Gilby. Sierra Marie Roberts. Caden McCain 
Roddenberry. Austin Reed Sapper. Angel Rosemary Shellman. Jamie Laverne Shellman. Spencer Snipes. Jalon Asante Johnny Stafford. David Matthew Stevens. Tiffany Ann Stevens. Alexander Ford Swenson. Trey Dalton Soares. Don Leon Cleoa. <laughs> Gumaro Jesus Villanueva Diaz. <laughs> Terrence Devon Webb Jr. Christopher Jack Whitaker. <laughs> Jessica Lynn White. <laughs> Kenneth Lamar Williams, Jr. Please rise and join us in singing the alma mater.
would like to thank you for watching this presentation of the 2018 commencement ceremonies at Charlton County High School. On behalf of the school board, staff, teachers, parents, thank you for watching. Congratulations, seniors. As soon as they clear the arch there, I'm going to shut this thing down so I can go take, take pictures and all with my family and my son who graduated this evening. So uh, thank you for watching again, and we'll see you all next year. Congratulations, seniors. We wish you all the best of luck and everything has to, as life has to offer as you enter the real world. Have a great evening, everybody. Thank you for watching. Stay live for the hat toss. Congratulations to the class of 2018. Have a great evening, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. Congratulations, seniors.